Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yogi Man here. Welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 21 career mode here with Villarreal. And we have a nice episode coming up with some victories in it. We're going to do the transfer deadline day as well. Now, if you didn't see the dramatic end to the last episode, go back and watch it. The playlist is on the channel, so catch up with the entire series if need be. And if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe button. It would help me massively in achieving my goal of 1K, which we will get there. We are ever, ever improving on youtube i've pretty much been doing it now religiously for about eight months and i've been enjoying it. maybe a little bit less than that maybe seven months let's kick this one off with a transfer and a player coming in to the yellow submarine now sadly mr leco's left us and i'm gutted about it i really would have liked to have kept jonathan leco but the allure of mr jose Mourinho and tottenham hotspur just took him away from us and we're going to replace him with gerard de la Feu, a spaniard coming back to spain which i like that He's got a great pedigree. He's played for some fantastic clubs oh, and Watford. Sorry, Watford fans. <laughs> but we are going to sign him now. He is at Udinese. Obviously, the owners of Udinese, also on Watford, they did this little intertwine like, yeah, yeah, you have him. No, no, you have him. Ah, well, we're going to have him. And I'm going to sign him right now. I don't particularly believe that this is going to be a hard deal to negotiate. I am just going to go in and just say, he's valued at 18. I'm going to chuck you 20. What are you going to say to me? You're going to say, that's reasonable. You can have him. And there we go. We signed him. Mr. Gerard Delefeu, just like that. He's done and dusted. Let's negotiate the contract. Just having a spot at dinner. Gerard sits down with his agent. He wants to be an important player. He will be. He's 80 overall. He's experienced. He's good at this level, the top level. And we're in the Champions League now. We need players that are good at the top level. Three years on his contract. Absolutely fine with me. No release clause. This is where we will counter and we will actually negotiate a release clause. Now, we're paying 20. I'm just going to do a release clause double and hopefully they'll accept that. They will. Yes, that is great. So, I'm working now in my head on double what we pay for a player. Now, his current wage is 32. I feel like we'd offer more. So, I'm going to offer him 38 and I'm going to do my usual trick. Just chuck him a 100 grand sweetener and hopefully he says, yeah, that's lovely. He actually doesn't. He, he did not. No, he didn't say that that was lovely, but I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely happy. Honestly, he's a top class player. So, there he is in the lovely yellow kit of Villarreal. He joins the club. Now, there is also potential for some players to leave in this window. Mainly, Mr. Paco Alcancer, who is on the transfer list. We are trying to move him on. Not had the same kind of year this year as in recent ones. Only four goals and six assists it's just not been a good season for him now he was brilliant last year but he's been outshone by Gerard Moreno and Ferreira now I know it still says that Rafael Leao is here but he's about to leave to Spurs this is going to be the starting 11 to take on Sevilla now we know Sevilla won't be easy we know that for a fact they're a very difficult side to play against this is the starting 11 Moreno and Ferreira of course up top Gomez Jukweze it's basically full strength 11 Lafon keeps the starting role in there and also this is Gerard De La Feu is on the bench well here we go big game as per usual Still on the realism mod. That's going to be the way we play FIFA, I think, now for the rest of the year. And, and this mod deserves all the praise in the world. It is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to play that one there. My Gomez is making the run. If that ball finds its way through, we're in. But yeah, the mod is brilliant. If you haven't tried it, please do try it. It will now forever be in the description of these videos if you want to go and give it a try. So will the Patreon of the guy that made it, if you want to go and chuck him a little bit of a pledge to say thank you, you've got the disposable income, then why not? Chad Moreno, unfortunately, has picked up a knock. That's a dangerous foul there as well. I have to be cautious. We've got it on aggressive. I want to just take a look at how aggressive aggressive is going to be. We're still learning how bad it's going to be while we play on aggressive now. I have been fiddling around with scoreboards, and I don't know why the Serie A one... Well, the scoreboard isn't showing up, but something is showing up that says Serie A. So, and I'm not sure why. But it is what it is. You can't really notice. That's a beautiful ball to Chuck Waze. Straight at the goalkeeper. That was an opportunity from there. Oh, Campos dances through. Plays the ball across. Easiest goal they'll score all year. Easiest goal they'll score all year. And unfortunately for us... Well, Gerard Moreno is still injured. We're going to have to bring him off. And it was a bad pass from Moy Gomez that led to this one. Moy Gomez gives the ball away. Samakam so lunges in. And it's a smart bit of play from Ocampos. And this is going to make this series definitely more difficult playing with this mod. But that's what we wanted. We were finding it too easy with the current squad that we had. It should be more difficult. And Naziri with his ninth goal of the season there. Florenzi now coming forward. 
Good footwork from him. Tries to play it into Endazeri. Oh, he's ended up with it back. And he scored. This is harrowing defending from us at the moment. I really don't know what this defending is. We're not clearing it. They're pressuring us and they've scored again. Florenzi, we could be in for a bit of a pacing in this one. Not going to lie, boys. I don't know what the clearance was here. We wanted to move the ball out. Trying to play out from the back as well. Sloppy. You see Pau Torres wins it. Can't get away. There he is. Florenzi finishes it. Samakam so dives in ridiculously as well. He's holding the ball. Plays that into Danny Parejo. Tries to play it in for Trukwese. Oh, it's going to be a goal. You've got to score that. You just do have to score that from Trukwese. Not good enough from him. Not good enough for him. We should be right back in this. Alcacer tries to play it in for Moy Gomez. Moy Gomez is knackered already. How is he this tired already? Come on, Moy. What are we on about here, man? How is Moy Gomez absolutely knackered already? Well, you won't often see me do this, but I am absolutely infuriated that Moy Gomez was that tired on that run that I'm bringing him off. Absolute joke. Half time here. Star striker taken off. My Gomez don't have enough stamina to make a run down the wing in the first half of the game. Shocking. 2-0 down. Danny Parejo here. Paco Alcancer now. He do. He's got good footwork, hasn't he? Plays in Ferreira in the end. Ferreira! Oh, he's going to make it 1-0. Two opportunities to make it 1-0. Chuck Waze now Ferreira. And you don't expect Ferreira to miss them, to be fair. And it's... it's sorry, 1-0. To get us a goal, to get us a goal, basically. And we've we've messed them both up. Kapue now, though. Danny Parejo has been cleaned out there. We scored a free kick in the last game. Kunde's going to be sent off. That's his second yellow. Bye-bye, Kunde. Advantage, maybe now, Villarreal, if we can get a goal back. Well, Paco Alcancer hasn't been a hero this year in any stretch of the imagination. Is this a chance for him? I don't know, because I'm not very good at these. He lifts it. Straight the goalkeeper, though, unfortunately. At least we got it over the wall. Capoue. Ferreira. Good footwork from Ferreira. Nice ball to Paco Alcacer. Penalty, surely, now given away from Sevilla. They're falling apart in this second half. Oh, it's another red. Oh, we might have to look at this mod, boys. We might have to. He's given another red. Oscar's been sent off now. I, I'm assuming they've taken it as a goal-scoring opportunity. It's got to be a penalty. And he's been sent off. And um, Paco Alcacer is going to take this. We all know I'm not good at penalties. We'll just see what happens. Hopefully the keeper doesn't guess the right way. He doesn't. And uh, we've got one back. And they've had two players sent off. <laughs> I'm bewildered. Oh, Ferreira's done brilliantly to win that back. Ferreira now. He's got no help, really, has he? Ferreira! Oh, what a finish! What a finish from Ferreira. I can't celebrate it properly. I don't know what happened there. But what a finish this is from Ferreira. Near post. So much power. <laughs> you don't often score goals at the near post like that, but this young man does. We're coming forward now, Sevilla. Very last gas. Whips the ball in. And Naziri's in there. Get it out. And Ronnie Lopez is going to give the nine men of Sevilla the victory. We went for the game, boys. We went for the game. And we're going to be left embarrassed here. We're going to be left embarrassed. Nine players on the pitch. And they're going to get the win. We came back. We managed to rescue the draw. We went for the win. And we were punished. Ronnie Lopez with the winner there for Sevilla. And they'll be the ones celebrating today. Maybe two red cards. But they got all three points. Well, that was a bit of a crazy and hectic game, wasn't it? That one. Two red cards. Full of drama. We got ourselves five goals. Sevilla won. Devastated at that. But... It was really enjoyable. It's not often you lose on FIFA and you're not filled with rage. You're actually thinking that was a brilliant game and I can't wait to bring it for you. The highlights for that one, well, they'll pick themselves. They certainly will. We do have a cup quarter final against a team I've never heard of that will hopefully allow us to bounce back. The La Fuente has got a transfer bid in here and we're just going to accept it. Finally confirmed, Liao has left. Spurs have themselves a very, very talented young Portuguese player there. Two transfer bids now for Mario Gaspar. Both of them I am more than happy to turn down. And Milanos also has a transfer bid in for him. It's nowhere near what I would want for him, if I'm being 100% honest. 14.7, I will negotiate it. I'm just purely going to try and get the 18.5 that we've been offered in the past. So we know that a team would usually offer this and see if they'll pay it. They're not willing to pay it. We wouldn't mind getting rid of him, though. We'll accept it. We need to bring the money in. He's not someone who plays, and nearly 15 million for someone who never gets game time, I suppose, is... What more can you ask for? Transfer offer for Danny Parejo. And it's from PSG. The reason I have to think about this one is Danny Parejo is 32. This is his last opportunity to go to a club as big as PSG and potentially win silverware there. 
That's how we have to look at this one. And I really don't want to let him go, but we have players like Robertone and Cuisons. He's the best player at the club overall rating-wise. He's brilliant. But as a club, would we stand in his way from him getting the opportunity to play for PSG and potentially league titles, cups, Champions Leagues? Not that PSG have won one, but do you know what I mean? I think we have to negotiate this one, and if we get given 25 million... I really hate it, but I think we probably have to let him go. Pochettino, of course, the man that we have to negotiate this way. He will understand what kind of a leader that Danny Parejo is and how important that kind of leader could be to their club. He walks away. That's fine. We're happy to keep him. I've got to add that Bernardo Silva has gone to Real Madrid. Taps over to Roma, Pulisic to uh, Bayer Leverkusen, but Bernardo Silva to Real Madrid for 94 million. Milanes has now finally sold, and we've got a transfer offer here for Pau Torres. Luckily for us, it's from Getafe, which we can happily reject because he's going nowhere, especially not to Getafe. If it was one of the bigger, bigger teams, we might have to consider that one, but Getafe, we're all right. Transfer offer here for Francis Coquelin. He is 30. Would it be time? He's had a good year, though. He, he has had a very good year for us. I'm going to reject that. Maybe next season would be a point where Coquelin would go at 31, but he's having a good year. I'm going to keep him. Etienne Capoue transfer here as well. We're going to reject that. He's experienced, and we need that kind of player there at CDM. He's been a superstar for me, in my opinion. And that will be the end of the transfer window. Nothing big, really, to say here. Paco Alcancer stays at Villarreal. Well, how interesting is this? The window is closed. We've got an offer for Chuck Weze from Liverpool, which we probably would have had to have accepted or at least negotiated. Now we can reject that. We have an offer for Pau Torres from West Ham as well. We would have been able to reject that. And then an offer actually came in for Paco Alcancer. Now... I am going to try and negotiate a deal here with Inter Milan for Paco to go there in the future, um, in the summer, after this season is done and dusted. But he will be here. And I mean, in case we had have had an injury there to Moreno, it's potentially better that he's here. Now, I don't know what we can deal with here, but I would kind of be happy with 25 million, if I'm being honest. But we've been lowballed a little bit a few times here. And they said they're afraid that they're not willing to do that. Now, they seem to be very stubborn. I can only imagine it's because I have this on strict. Now, I think, and I believe if we didn't have this on strict with the mod, uh, that these would make more sense. 20 million is all we're going to get. I think we accept it. So Paco Alcancer, on the year he's had, probably isn't worth too much, if we're being 100% honest. And we'll let him go for 20 million. Where does that see the transfer budget being sat now? And, well, financially where we're sat, pretty healthy going into next year. Also, been offered the job at Napoli. Napoli have come in and offered us a job. I mean, I'd love to view the offer. Does it tell you... Do you know what I don't like about this? Is it doesn't tell you how much money they'd give you if you signed for Napoli. I think that's something that'd be nice to know what budget you was going to be given. I'm going to reject it, of course, because this is a Villarreal career mode. But that, that'd be a really good job to take on. This is going to be a starting 11 for this cup game. They have Conor Wickham up top. So... This could be really difficult. Who knows? I did not expect that result against Sevilla. We're going to use this episode to assess whether we like this more aggressive one. I do like that there's going to be more cards and games, more tackles going in. Makes it more fun. There'll be more free kicks and stuff. But I don't want to see two red cards in a game too often. If that's a one-off, that's fine. It was a very dramatic game that we still lost, even though they had two players sent off. But we'll keep an eye on it. Well, we will be taking on a smaller side here. Not in the Serie A, which is... I need to fix that. It's just part of the mod that I added that I was trying out different scoreboards and I forgot to take them off. So it's showing you the Serie A one when it shouldn't. It should show you the Copa del Rey one. But a quarterfinal, we have to take this seriously. Now, we are in the side of the bracket that is not as stacked. So this should be a good route to a final for, for Villarreal here. But let's see how we get on. Very much a rotated team. Paco and Gerard Moreno starting up top for the first time in a long time. Let's see how that partnership does. Paco Alcancer now. Got some options. Robertone being one of them. Robertone tries to fire that back across. He gets it to Paco. Fires off the shot and well saved from Santa Maria. The Minnows will want to do well in this one. Of course, yeah, we do. We've got the Syria um, scoreboard on at the moment. I do apologise. It'll just be for this this one episode. I just need to... I'm, I'm new to this modding situation on FIFA. Just need to learn to one-tick stuff. Carmoco. He's found Mozo, lifts it in towards Gerard Moreno. It's weak though, isn't it? It's poor, and he's offside. Robertone does brilliantly there. 
Robertone, he pulls his man out of position and then he plays in Gerard Moreno into a beautiful bit of space. Gerard Moreno, he's done very well, I think, but Santa Maria saves it. The defender did fantastically there to make sure that I cut the angle that tightly. Robertone, he's done really well again here. He's going to play that one through to Paco Alconcer. Surely, Paco Alconcer, there we go, 1-0 to the yellow submarine. And it's Paco. It's Paco Alcancer, who's still going to be here until the end of the season. Potentially going to Inter Milan, though, after this year. And he gets the goal here in the Cup. 1-0 coming in at half-time, and that man Paco Alcancer with a goal. But let's be honest, it should have been more. Oh, they're playing a the ball in here now. Good footwork, and Alvarez gets there. It needs to be blocked again from Conor Wickham. A double sub here and a bit of a change in formation. 4-5-1, we're going to Gerard Delafeu coming on on the left. Let's get him some match sharpness, get him some fitness. We're also going to bring on Quisons. Push Robertone up to Cam. Paco will play up top by himself. The corner's gone in towards Paco. And it's over the bar. Gerard Delafeu now. Delafeu knocks it on. Is he going to get it back? He's going to get it back. He's in a good position. Delafeu. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Gerard Delafeu there has hit the crossbar. I feel for him, man. I really do. The ball back across. Paco Alcancer shot is blocked. I don't know how we have not made it two. All via Real in this one. Paco with a goal. I don't know how he didn't score more. I have to be 100% honest. But at the end of the day, it's a job done. And we go through to the semi-final of the Copa del Rey. Right, so we've got a few players here upset with contracts. I'm just going to go through now, do the contracts, try and make these players happy again. A few of them, I don't get why they're unhappy, to be honest with you. Maybe it's, it's results. But there are contracts where people are unhappy. We'll go through and renew them now. Transfer offer coming in here from Leon. For Moy Gomez, I, I'm, I'm not happy with the fee, so we're going to reject it for now. But I'm really open to selling Moy after his a few recent games. It's just his stamina and his speed that lets him down a little bit. Back in the league now for this one, and we are going to rest Gerard Moreno, Paco Alcacer after scoring in that last game. We'll be giving it, and I think this is Cuisance's first start there at centre mid. Let's see how he gets on. Also, sooner not having the greatest season in the league, but... We've shown that we can fall. We've shown that we can make mistakes. And we've shown that we're not always at our best. Ferreira is in form. Gerard Delafeu gets his first start here for the club, as well as Michael Cuisance. This Villarreal team is changing slowly but surely. We need more out of this man this season. More goals from Samuel Chukweze. We'll have a free kick here. Paco will whip it in. I'll knock it on. I won't knock it on. I thought I was. Samakam so now from distance. Why not? Why not? When in Rome, you know, fire off a big shot with Samakam, the centre-back. Well, Romelu Lukaku for 48.7 million has left Inter and gone to Liverpool. So no wonder that they're touting Paco Alcancer. Well, Delafeu's done brilliantly there. Delafeu for his first goal for the club. Well saved. Probably should have squared it. Probably should have squared it. Went for the shot. Went for the spectacular. Couldn't go past the goalkeeper. Good ball play here from Osasuna. It's a tight angle though, isn't it? It's a very tight angle. Samakam will close him down. Hopefully win it back as well. Stands him up and wins it back. Wins it back from Acuna as well. Good play. And it's blocked, I think, there from Pau Torres. For Euler was about to score. Oh, no, it isn't blocked. It's just a poor shot. Maybe put off, actually, by Torres. Oh, Cuisance's his mistake. Leads to Osasuna's goal. Cuisance switched off. And there we go. Also soon to make it 1-0. We're not having a good time in the league at the moment, are we? And this is just absolutely shocking from Quaisons. I don't know what his reaction time was. Really, really poor this from Quaisons. We head it away. Quaisons' touch leads it straight to a goal-scoring opportunity. Half-time here and a torrid mistake from Quaisons has given Also Suna the lead. And they're just going to sit back now and make life very difficult for us. Early second half free kick for Also Suna. It's not a bad ball in. But the ball just goes all the way through from Toro. Good play again here from Osasuna. Samakam, and there we go, two. There we go, two. Van Bergen with a goal. Wow, we're really not having a good time in the league at the moment. We didn't take early chances. Gerard Moreno is going to come on now. We didn't take our early chances, and Osasuna have taken over since that mistake. Cuisance now. Ball across. Gerard Moreno scores. That's one back. That's why he came on the pick. The pick, pick up the ball. Never mind. Just celebrate. Just celebrate. Gerard Moreno gets one back. That's why we brought him on the pitch. It was good movement. We had enough bodies across, and he slots that one home. Oh, great ball over from Osasuna. Is this going to be another? It's well saved from Lafont in the end. We need to get the ball out, though. Oh, yeah. They've still got it. Ibanez. Can we stop them here? That's the main problem. 
they're still creating opportunities. We do eventually get it away from them. Ferreira now. Plays in Gerard Moreno. Gerard Moreno tries to make the run. He's not going to get to it, is he? He does get to it. Gerard Moreno pulls it wide. Oh, my God. That was the moment. That was the moment. And he's dragged it wide. We've had the opportunities in this one as well. Back to back defeats here in the league for Villarreal. We might have got a win in the cup, but we play Barcelona next. And this team really needs to shake their heads at the moment. Sevilla, okay, I can take it. This one against Osasuna, disgraceful. If we want to be a top four side in this league, we need to be way, far better and way better than that. Our hopes and dreams after such a good start to the season of finishing top, I mean, they're still there after two defeats, but we were top of the table. We've given that up now. Real Madrid, we've opened the door to them, but there is still only a point in it. But you can't be losing against Osasuna. Paco Alcancer will depart the team as well. He will go to Inter Milan in the summer. Semi-final time now against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. Now, this is two-legged. This will be the first leg up against Barcelona. And the form we've been in hasn't been great. So I really am hoping here that we just, we do better. We need to do better. On the plus side, we're at home for the first leg, and I'm not sure that away goals is a rule in this competition. In fact, I don't think it is. But at least we're at home for the first leg, and we can hopefully get some goals in this one, put something on the board, because we've been awful. We've not been good. We've not looked good either. We need to turn that around. We've won one. I mean, we've scored a couple of goals, but we've missed some... Pretty decent chances as well. Let's try and regain some form here. Well, Jorginho going in early on Ferreira here. He might pick himself up a card to start the game. He wants to be careful. He's the Barcelona captain at the moment. He's not going to get anything for this one. So be careful. He doesn't give away too many opportunities. Danny Parejo will step up for this free kick. Do I go for this? Do I go for it? He might be able to hit something special. We're going to try... I don't know how this goes. That goes badly. That goes badly. I apologise. Well, they don't like Ferreira getting on the ball, do they? Taken out again now, and surely this time a card is going to be given. Umpa Meccano this time. It's got to be a yellow at least, they surely. They want to be careful. Oh, he's been sent off. Oh, he's been sent off. He does come in from behind. I'll show off the tackle. Well, I mean, it, it's each to their own, whether you think that's a red or not. So they're making an instant sub here. Ooh, I, I don't know. If we're going to see reds like this all the time, we might have to change it. We're going to have to monitor it. It goes in there. This does give us a big opportunity now for some goals, potentially, in this one. They don't always dive in, though, which is the, way, uh, the weird situation with this. Don't always go in for it. That is nice play. What can happen here? Mozo! It's not really where we wanted it. It needed to go further out wide to Gerard Moreno. Or Tailman's done well to win that one back. Plays it to Abe. You're not going to beat him for pace. The ex Barca man as well, let's remember. They're a man short, but they're still putting up a fight. That's not a bad ball into Abe. He's going to try and drive that one across. He's offside, though. Well, he's very only just offside, isn't he? Very, very only just. Oh, Ferreira still makes the run. It's going to be a good touch. It was a good touch from him. Ferreira, 1 0. There we go. That's what we needed. The main man, Jesus Ferreira, to get through. I must admit, it's very different playing on this mod on how you score goals. Passing seems to be. Way more important, intricate passing as well, build-up play. You can't just hammer the ball forward and hope for the best because you seem to make more mistakes with the passes. That wasn't in a great position either for him to run onto, but he does very well with it. And they've got a man down. They've still been very good, but here we go. 1-0, and we need to do as well as we can here because the second leg won't be easy. Well, Jorginho dies in again on Moreno, and he's lucky he didn't get a yellow card for that one earlier, isn't he? He really is. Gerard Moreno's not happy with this one. But we have to keep an eye up on these uh, on these cards. We really do. I mean, I like the aggression in the respects that we're seeing more free kicks, we're seeing more cards, which you would see in a game of football. But if it's going to be red cards, left, right, and centre, it's probably going to take away from the save. Well, that's ended up working out well. Abe now. Can he fire off the shot? He does to Stegen saves it. But Abe is offside again. Just needs to keep himself on here. Yeah, he did. He, I mean, I played the ball a bit late. I thought number three was playing him on, but he wasn't. 1-0 at home at halftime against Barcelona. Not bad. They have had a man sent off. However, 
which will be frustrating for them. And they've got Jorginho walking on a tightrope. Uh, tightrope? Tight rope. That went well. But there we go. One nil at half time. Ferreira with the goal. It's not enough for me, though, going into a second leg. Well, Jesus has been brought down by Paul Torres. He might be next on the list to pick up a yellow card. He's not careful. He does pick one up as well. Jesus, I think, wanted a little bit more there. This has been a feisty affair, to be honest. That's been a very feisty p uh, affair between the two sides. Well, Griezmann steps up for the free kick. Barcelona have not done much in this game so far. How would it be if they'd have scored there? Pereira. Alvarez. He wants a runner. He's got it in the end. And Gerard Moreno! Oh, well saved from Testegan. Very well saved from Testegan. Jorginho coming forward now. Up against Pau Torres. Pau Torres needs to be careful. Though. Both of these lads on a yellow card. They're having a feisty affair. <laughs> they are having a feisty affair here between the two boys. This game has really taken itself up a notch in the second half in terms of aggression. I don't think there'll be anything given in. Now, he did have a player down potential with injury. They're making a substitution. Martin Braithwaite. Go on, lad. He's going to come on for Gabby Jesus. Jesus seems frustrated. Not much delivery for him. And we'll check on the injury. It's Arbe with the injury. We will bring him off now for Moy Gomez. We are basically losing all our pace now. Griezmann will step up and take this free kick. He just lifts it in. Straight to Ndicca. Ferreira. Jair Moreno now. Good footwork. Waiting for my Gomez. But then the problem is, is you unleash my Gomez there. And it's just not... You're not really unleashing anyone, are you? Ferreira. Danny Parejo. Back to Ferreira. He's got good footwork. We know that. We'll play that out wide. You've got to be a lot more... Build-up play in this mod by the looks of it. Oh, my Gomez doing acres! <sighs> Scuffs it. That's a lift that one in and Ronald Adagio just puts it wide and that'll be the full time whistle. And we held on. I mean, they played really well to say they had 10 men towards the back end of that second half. But we've got one up on them. We've got one up on them for now. Oh, that was difficult. That I'm not going to lie. That was a very hard fought game. Fouls all over the shot. There's quite a few yellow cards in that one for both sides, actually. But in the end, we win it. Well, Umpa Meccano definitely for sure will be unhappy that he got sent off there. But that was a great goal from Ferreira. And the next episode, don't get no easier. We're going to play against Getafe, Real Sociedad. And we get our first game underway against Olympic Lyonnais. And uh, yeah, the mod is certainly changing how things are going. We might even try and fit in this cup game. We'll see what we can do. But the mod's certainly changing how matches are going. We're losing a bit more often now, which is what I'd expect. Because at the end of the day, when you look at our squad, it isn't the greatest. It just certainly isn't the greatest. We do have a bruised shoulder for Arbe. We'll take that all day long. I don't mind a bruised shoulder. Nothing serious since we've used the mod. Well, that is going to be it for this one. A good episode again. Two defeats that was a little bit frustrating. But anyway, boys, if you're new around here... Please smash that subscribe button. I'm going to keep toying with the idea. I kind of like aggressive because it's making there be some craziness in these games. Like the two sendings off in the Sevilla game. But the Sevilla team still won that game very much at the end of the match. Let me know your opinion since we've gone to the mod. What's your thoughts on the gameplay? I certainly have to play a lot more differently. I can't just go bang, 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 goal. You have to move the ball around a lot more. You have to find yourselves in better positions. You have to use more passing play, which definitely caters to not having two up top. But I'd like the formation for now, especially with the players we've got. But anyway, boys, thank you for the support as per usual. If you're new around here, smash subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.